Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Spyro the Dragon. Uh, you can say I'm at the beginning of the Dreamweavers world, not Dreamweavers. Yes, Dreamweavers, that's the one. The Macromedia Dreamweavers world. Uh, that's because I haven't played the game in a while, uh, and I just started it up again, so, beginning of the world. Uh, as the game normally works, uh, hello. Like that. There we go. Um, so I don't really know where I'm going in this video because I'm not that familiar with the, the Macromedia Dreamweavers world well compared to some of the others. Uh, you remember in the previous video, ow, uh, we did a couple of the, of the uh, levels here. We did that one, Dark Passage, uh, and We did another one, which is over here somewhere. <laughs> uh, Lofty Castle, which is over this way. Um... Yeah, there it is. So yeah, those are the two we've done. Um, so I'm gonna probably gonna try to, I'm gonna try to find two more and do them, if I can figure out where they are. Um, so it's gonna have a bit of a look around the hub, I suppose. Uh, yeah. We're still going to get past there, because um, I'm pretty sure we need to get up to where that cannon is and just shoot it at these uh, dancing people. Those ones we can deal with, no problem. Um, let's look around. Is there anything over there? Maybe there's some treasure, but I already got it. Oh, no, here's a level. Uh, I'm guessing that's a boss, because that sounds like the name of a character rather than a level, so I might save that for a bit later. Uh, here's the balloonist. Well done, Spyro! I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? No, I'll stay here, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not, not ready to go to, uh, Gan Ganasty's world yet, so we'll get to that. Sorry for that momentary pause there. Uh, if I just... I reckon I'm gonna head down that way. You can see there's some treasure over there still sparkling. And some enemies I probably haven't killed yet, so... Let's go. Yep, hadn't killed them yet. We're grabbing more treasure. Grabbing more treasure. Grabbing more treasure. Excellent. <laughs> uh, and this should whirlwind us up towards... Ooh, there's a dragon. Sounds like good. Alright, also this cannon here. Which is useful because we can aim it at those characters over there and make them small, like so. This is similar to the cannons we saw back in Peacemakers, or Peacekeepers, or whatever it was called. You know, that, that level. Uh, except, you know, it's making enemies smaller or bigger instead of just killing things. Which is kind of interesting. Can I glide back to the... Uh, yes. A little trouble aiming. <laughs> there we go. So, what is up here? Okay, bunch of stuff. Uh, down there is a uh, lofty castle which we already went to, so we won't be going there yet. I mean, not just now. We don't need to go back down there. So, what does this guy do? Oh, I see. I see. That platform moves up when I hit that guy. Interesting. Oh, I see. And it hit both of these guys. Like, like, uh, like so. Which will give me enough platforms to climb up to over there. Interesting. Oh, no! <sighs> Mistakes were made. Reigniting. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, so we're back at the beginning of the world again. Um, we probably have to basically redo what we've done so far in order to get back over there. Because uh, those armored people standing in front of the doorway are back. So we'll have to use the zappy thing to make them small again so we can get past them. Oh, 
Or maybe... No, no. No, they're staying small. Interesting. I guess once you've been there once, they don't get embiggened? I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Uh, anyway, so these guys... Let's try this one more time. So you jump onto these, and then you quickly... Uh, you quickly not mess it up. Actually, I think I might just be able to, like, stand on this one. Maybe? Let's lure them into the correct sort of area. Yeah, that's much easier. There we go. Okay, here we've got some fireworks. So we'll stand a little bit away so we don't get hurt. There we go. Get some more gems. Over there you can see some more chests we can break by charging into them. Uh, icy flight. You know how I feel about the flight levels, so we might just leave that for the moment. Uh, see what else is around here. The pretty waterfall. That's about all that's here, so I, I guess we'll give Icy Flight a shot. As for the other flight levels, I'm not aiming to 100% these because they're obnoxious, but I'll get what I can. Okay. Well, I can see. Uh, there's a... I'm not really sure what the different types of targets are in this level yet. I know there's these guys, and there's the trains, but I haven't seen any of the others. Unless I have, and I just don't know what they look like, which is also possible. And we're out of time. Or I'm just going to touch the water. Okay, barrels, which are the trains. Lights, apparently. I don't remember seeing any, but alright. Chests. I didn't remember seeing any of those either, and copters. Alright, let's give this a couple more tries, but... Again, I don't... I don't like these levels. Oh, these things are lights. Okay. Okay, so there was one right in front of me at the beginning there. Um, I didn't fly down far enough to work that second one, apparently. Okay, and there's chests, like, behind them. Okay. I just didn't know what they looked like, basically. <laughs> stop flying instead of turning around. There's a button that turns you around, but it's like really slow. I think I pressed B by accident, but I'm not sure. No, I didn't. Oh, come on, that should have lit that. This is transmisogyny. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the, the flight levels in this game. I don't, I don't like them. Not good. It's not good. Okay, got all the barrels. That's something.
I tried, I tried to turn around, but it didn't work. Oh no! Oh. Oh. I just got that in time. Oh my god. Okay, let's focus on the lights and chests now. Oh. I'm not gonna manage all in one, that's just ridiculous. But. I can probably. Managed to get the four types separately because I've done half of them. Turn around. Turning is is slow. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Okay, so that's the lights. And you get the chests. Where's the last chest? Oh god. This would be a lot more fun without a time limit, or, you know, designed completely differently. <laughs> Okay, so just the chests now. Just the chests. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure the first one is this one back here. And you got one here. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't like the flying levels in this game. They're not not good or fun. They're bad and, and not fun. And the chests are so tiny. What, why are they so tiny? Oh, thank God. I don't have enough time to get everything else, but... <sighs> also, the, the flippy, flippy animations on L and, on L and R are so slow. Why are they so slow? Okay, I got all the individual ones. I'm not gonna bother trying to get all in one because honestly, that's ridiculous. That'll do. All right, so I've done the icy flight. Let's just, I guess, wrap up the home in this video because, you know, I'm exploring around anyway and I may as well do that. Gotta do the home world at some point anyway. And I think I'm pretty close to having gotten everything in it anyways, so yeah. Breathing fire out of my mouth. Watch out for that pool of water, it will hurt you because you're a dragon and this is Spyro 1. And in this game, you can't swim. <laughs> There are a lot of enemies around in this particular hub world. They're sort of showering you with pearls. I guess they know you need to get into the game and you're gonna die a lot, but I mean this is this is easier than treetops, for example. So I don't know. <sighs> Hello dragon. Zacomo. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Oh, that was cool. I, I assume we're getting close to the total number of dragons. I don't know what that number is. Which is why I'm having to make an assumption rather than say we're getting close. <laughs> Haunted Towers. Oh, that's a level. Um... Let's just keep doing the home world for the moment. Rescued Marzi. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. <laughs> Sparrow loves attacking things. Nice. We got a nice number of dragons. Okay, what, what are we... 
What does that guy do when I when I flame him? Oh, he lowers this ledge. Cool. Now let's wait for him to time out. See if going up gets us to anything. I'm gonna say no. No, it doesn't. Alright. Can't go on this rooftop, right? Yeah. Okay, how close are we? I think we have nearly everything. Yeah, we're just a little bit of treasure short. I think it's the treasure inside those enemies back there. Uh, to defeat that one, I'm gonna need to go back up to the zappy thingy. So I can actually zap them. Uh, and to do that, I think I need to go this way. This is a strange hub world layout. <laughs> yeah, you have to use these to get back to the beginning. Uh... And from there, you can get yourself back around to where the cannon is. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. See so yeah, it, just make your way all the way around. Hang on, something's shining there. Did I miss a gem? Oh, I just fell. Okay, well that's fine. Pearls are good to have too. Also, I can see some treasure hiding at the back there that I'll have to come back to in a second. Okay, so this cannon... What we actually want to do with it is turn it so it's facing... Uh... Okay, charging doesn't speed that up, it just makes you bounce off. We want to shoot uh, that enemy down there. Oops. Too big, too big, too big. Aiming is a little bit of a hassle. Um, there we go. There we go. Alright, so let's head back over there. Now that you're the right size, I can just charge into you, like so. Gives me one gem. Uh, then I can go, go around behind here for a couple more. Yay, that's all of them! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, this isn't hasn't really been a long video, so I may as well just go into Haunted Towers and more or less finish off this hub world, because that's the last level. So, yeah, let's go. I don't know how long Haunted Towers is. If it's really long, then that, this will have been a mistake. We'll see how we go. Uh, but if it's, you know, a reasonable length, then that's the end of Magic Crafters, and we're up to Nasty World, or Nork Nexus, or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called Nork Nexus in the original game, but it's just called Nasty's World by the Balloonist, so I don't know. Maybe you don't find out it's a real name until you get there, and it turns out to be Nork Nexus. I hope it does, because it was a cool name. Anyway, uh, Haunted Towers. I'm assuming there'll be some ghosts and stuff around. Okay, we've got some gems out here. We've also got uh, a suit of armor over here. And we've got a door over here. Oh, I can burn the door. Right, it makes sense. Okay, so when you say Haunted Towers, what you mean is... Haunted Towers. This is scary. Uh, you gonna, like, attack me or throw something at me? Oh. 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 Um. Do I have to kill that? Like, it's made of metal. I don't know how I'm going to kill it. Try charging. Oh, that's not good. If it has a gem in it, I need to kill it, but I don't know how. Hmm. Anyway, reigniting. <sighs> There's another suit of armor out here. Can I use this in some way? Oops. Maybe if I use enough fire, like his shield will burn him up or something? Like, because it's made of metal when he's holding it? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I guess let's keep going for now and hopefully I won't need to kill those guys, I guess.
Oh, there's a metal door behind that guy. Um... Hmm. I'm very confused. Uh, let's just keep wandering around grabbing stuff as we... Okay, that guy's blocking the path. Look. So I can't go that way. Until I figure out how to deal with them. Oh! Oh, there's a fairy that powers you up. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Uh, I lost... I lost, um, my dragonfly, though. Hello, fairy. <gasps> I got a kiss from a pretty fairy. Oh, I'm gay. Yeah, and then I can... And then I can just kill the suits of armor just by using fire. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Is this one gonna come alive, or... Maybe. I don't think I've seen anything I can heal with yet, which is a little frustrating because I've taken a lot of hits. Um, and you can see, like, grabbing gems is way more annoying without sparks because you actually act actually have to touch them instead of just walk near them. Alright, so we need uh, some more fairy power. Hello fairy, give me a kiss please. She's so pretty. Thank you, pretty fairy. There we go. Yes, mushrooms. Give me back my dragonfly. Thank you, mushrooms. Okay, so there's some more of these. Do I have to go back to the fairy every time, or is it like another fairy? Hmm. I guess I can go back to this one for the moment, but it's not going to last very long, so we'll see how we go. Hello, fairy. Oh, I'm gay. <laughs> oh, hang on, there are gems in those. I need to destroy those ones as well. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Because, um, yeah, this is based around the supercharging, like the super powered flame ability. Uh, let me think. Maybe if I just keep going forward, there'll be another fairy that can kiss me. Let's see. Rescue Kosako. Hey, Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. Oh, yeah, I, I did that already. In order to get here, I, I had to do that already. Okay. Okay, there's more knights in shiny armor everywhere, which is obnoxious. I'm guessing if I go past them, I might get to another fairy. Yeah, there's a fairy. Let's get kissed by another fairy. Hey, hey fairy, give me a kiss. Oh, I'm gay. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be nice and quick to get back over to them. I'm gonna break that chest open as well. There we go. Okay, so we're doing fine so far. I think I need to go back to the beginning because there was another statue I could break open. Uh, with the flames. My statue. Like a suit of armor I could break. With my super flame. Here. Oh, I'm gay. If I just charge through here, charge through back to the very beginning, nice and quick. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get another kiss because there's actually another armor up on the next platform that I need. There's a lot of kissing involved in this level. Oh, I'm gay. 
Oh my goodness. There we go. Alright, so that's everything down here, I think. Now let's head through this door and see what's next. Okay, so we've got these guys. Uh, out of my way, guy. Right? There we go. And then this little whirlwind here. Into... Supercharging? Well, that's scary. Okay, so we want to supercharge to get through these doors. I see. Can you do it again? Mm. Yeah, there's some metal doors down here as well, so yes. Let's burn the wooden ones, though. Oh no, there's a fairy in here, so we actually need to supercharge again. We can just get a kiss. Oh, I'm gay! <laughs> okay, um, we need more charge for that room. Oh, here's a dragon. Hello, dragon! It's Lulat Lutalo! Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Hold on to your horns. That was cute. <laughs> okay, so I need more supercharge from this fairy. Oh, I'm gay. I'm gonna blast my way in here and get all this treasure. Okay, and that room's done. Uh, I need another uh, hyper flame. Or I don't know what this power up's called. I know the ramps is called supercharging. I don't know what the, what the fire power is called. I'm not sure they actually tell you what it's called in the game at any point. Oh, there's another fairy up here anyway, so I wasn't really in that much of a hurry. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a lot of these weather wi weather wizards here for some reason. How much treasure is there? 500. Okay, so we're doing fine. There's actually another dragon as well. Uh, don't fall down. Good Spire, I told you not to fall down, and you didn't fall down. What a good dragon. Okay, we've got a puddle of water there. Don't fall in that either. Okay, I can see. I don't want to break that open. Uh, I'm guessing I can probably take a take a flame that far. Should be do do a without too much trouble. Because uh, you can get the flame charge up just here. I believe a supercharge will also work on those padded chests, but. Uh, the supercharged ramp is going to be much harder to get all the way over here than flame, I think. Yeah, see? Easy. Okay. I wonder where I need to go next. Well, it's like a hole in the ceiling there. Maybe I could get up higher somehow? But I, I don't know how. Hmm. Let's backtrack this way. See if I missed any other paths that maybe I should have taken. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> hmm. Ow. Sparrow clonk him noggin. Uh, not that way. Let's try this way. Hop, hop, hop. Seems to be the end of the stage, and there's 
Not really any obvious treasure I've missed. Hmm. Spark Pini hint. That direction. Okay. Hmm. Above me. Okay, so yeah, I need to get up somehow. Uh, let's see. Just the one door out of there. Let's go up this supercharge ramp here. Hang on. Hang on, here's a thought. Oh, I need to turn left, that's right. Because there's a bit of a ramp here. Right? Anything above there? No. Okay, so, no, the, the fact that this looks like a ramp doesn't mean anything. Because there's nothing up there. Um... Hmm... Let's think. You can definitely see that there's like a hole in the ceiling up there, so there must be a way to get up there somehow. I'm just not sure what it is. I'm guessing that there was like another, like, turn, quite a... a an alternate path back here somewhere that I've forgotten about already. <laughs> uh, let me see, let me see. I could probably glide down there, but I don't think I want to. I've already been there. Uh, let's just drop down here, a bit of a look around. Yeah, Sparks wants me to go up. Hmm. So yeah, we start up decently high, but then we go down this ramp as soon as we go in here. Hmm. I'm confused. <laughs> uh. See, so yeah, the treasure is above, but I can't see any way to get up there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll figure this out. I'll figure this out. Um, I'm not looking at a guide again because I keep doing that and it really annoys me. <laughs> Okay, let's try backtracking a bit further and see if there's anything maybe I missed back here. I don't think so. Any treasure over there? Can't really tell. Maybe I want to get over there. Let's assume I want to get over there. Because it's worth a try. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go up here. We'll get in the twirly whirly. It glides you this way, so there's not much you could do to go the other way. <sighs> so, yeah, that we can already get to there, so that's unhelpful. Ah, that wasn't quite what I had in mind. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, there's some sort of some sort of secret here that I haven't quite clicked yet. Clicked onto. Has it quite clicked in my head? I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, I think you probably know, like you, loosely what I mean, even though I can't quite express it. Okay. Um. So you can see there's something over there. I don't think I've been over there, but I don't know how I would get over there. Based on what I have access to. Um, I 
I don't think a supercharge can really help me based on the areas I have access to. Are there any doors out of here, are there? No. What about this one? No. What about this one? No. And you got this one, which is to this ramp thing on the other side, but it doesn't ramp up to anything in particular. And it looks like just going over there directly would be a more efficient way to get to the same place. Which you can do by taking these stairs around here. And this door. What am I missing? It's like the other side of this wall has something, but I don't see any way to get around it. Let's put the map on. Oh, no. Stay. Options. Map on. See, it's like it's mean a hint as to the structure of this level that I'm misunderstanding or something. Um. Oh, really? Hmm. It's pretty much how I understood it. I can, I can see that there's a hole there, but I can't get into it. Unless, like, standing under it lets me launch myself. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Um, we can go up this way. That's just stone walls. I can't do anything with those. There's another curve around here. So, yeah, um... What I'm trying to get to is basically the other side of this wall, but I don't see any way to do that. Um, just too far away from everything. At least as far as I can tell. Yeah, that's got to be where the treasure is, but how would I get over there? I feel like it's got something to do with this supercharged round, but I just don't see how how I can use this to my advantage. I wonder if I can supercharge and then go back up the ramp. I don't think there's enough room to turn around, but maybe. I mean, there is that outside part that's like, like a little turning circle sort of thing, so maybe? Maybe. Like, I'm thinking if you can get back up the ramp or keeping the supercharge, you could then drop down there and use that, like, that ramp up into the sparkly thing as an actual ramp. Although it's not very big, so I don't know if that makes any sense. Hmm. Yeah, you can't, you can't turn on that turning circle fast enough. That won't work. It's, it's too tight for the speed at which Spyro moves while supercharging. Hmm. Know where the rest of the treasure is. I don't want to look at a guide again. I hate having to look at a guide all the time. Um... Because that's that curve there. And you get to here. Supposedly there's a way to... This map isn't very well designed for the layout of the level, honestly. There's a lot of, like, verticality that's not expressed well in the little map. This is something that a lot of games with 2D maps have problems with, but I think... Some of them handle it better than this one is. Um, yeah, I can see that over there, but 
How would I get over there? It's got something to do with this ramp, right? Somehow? I just don't see any way we can use this ramp to our advantage, though. jump down there, but that doesn't really achieve anything. Hang on, there's like a circular bit I'm seeing. Is it above me or below me? Maybe I need to drop down or something? Like underneath this piece? But I can't really tell. Um... Now I'm over here. We can get a bit of view. Supposedly I'm looking directly at it now. Maybe it's just inside the wall and that's why I'm not seeing it. Oh yeah, that's one of the rooms inside. Yeah. Okay, so never mind. Um, hmm. Wasn't any treasure left over here, was there? Just wanna make sure. No, I've got everything over here. Um, um, Cause yeah, I'm thinking that's a bit of a ramp, so theoretically you could maybe do something with it if you could supercharge to that spot, but being able to supercharge to that spot is in itself uh, overwhelmingly complicated and difficult, as far as I can tell. And you're still at a weird angle, even if you manage it, and it's not a very good ramp anyway, so maybe it's the right thing to do, but I'm finding it difficult to believe that that's what you're supposed to do. Then again, treetops is a pretty ridiculous level, so I don't know. Maybe they're doing the same sort of thing again. Um... <coughs> okay, guide time. Yeah. What is this level called? It's like a haunted... Towers. Yeah, they still need the dragon to get. Jeez. Uh... Okay, so you're supposed to supercharge, then just run down here, take a left to jump down there. Wow. Okay, so I was I was half right. It's just you're not supposed to use the turning circle. You're just supposed to jump off the side there. Okay, let's do this. Like this. Ah. Oh. You can see that that will work if I do it better. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love getting stuck in every single level of this game. Even though they've added a hint system that wasn't in the original. It's so great. My favourite thing. Anyway, uh, we need to supercharge again. And we need to do it better. Um, but yeah, the basic idea of what I just did will work. I just need to do it better. <laughs> Ah, oh. dang it! I'm gonna spend a lot of lives on this. <laughs> Once it's done, though, that's that's um, that's like Magic Craft is done, except for the flight, which which again I don't really care about. So it should be fine. <laughs> um. All right, all right. So yeah, we get the supercharge. This is definitely easier than the one in treetops. Uh, it's still really annoying though. There's 
There we go. There we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> I forgot that letting go of the button doesn't stop you from supercharging. I had to crash into a wall or something. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, letting go of the button does stop you from supercharging, so I don't know what happened before. That was really weird. Okay. Whew. So down here there's nothing, there's just some mushrooms. Uh, but you can hit the little whirlwind here. And oh god, there better be a fairy over here. Here's a dragon. Uh, Capano. You become a master of the supercharge. Great work. Thanks, Cabano. Uh, okay, well, there's a bunch of stuff going on here. There's that hole you can drop down to go back to the other part that I mentioned earlier. Um, what do we got? We got some haunted suits of armor here. Let's try to run past them because we can't actually attack them yet. Um, excuse me? What am I supposed to do? You can't actually keep the supercharge all the way up because, you know, you have to use the twirly whirly to climb up onto this bit. So... Uh, do I have to look at the guide again to understand what the heck they want in this room? Because this doesn't make any sense to me. Does it seem to be faster? So I can probably do that. Yeah, okay, okay, you've got to be a bit faster. And you can get to this room behind the, um, behind the suit of armor before it actually starts becoming dangerous, and then you can get kissed by an orange one instead of a purple one? Does that mean it lasts longer or something? Yeah, there's no timer. Oh, I have a permanent upgrade, okay! <laughs> I'm guessing it'll go away when I finish the level or something, but, I mean, still, that's pretty cool. So is Spyro just, just much more into orange fairies than purple fairies, or what? <laughs> this is transmisogyny. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go break the chest, also using our hyper flame powers. And... That should be all the treasure. If it's not, I'm very concerned. It is. Okay, thank god. <laughs> Give me that butterfly. Yeah, I'm still staying flamed up, so I guess I'm just flame Spyro forever now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go exit the level. Uh, yeah, so that was Haunted Towers. Um, that's the wrong way. The level exit is this way. Um, we might take a quick peek at, at Nasty's world, maybe? maybe? No, I might just save that for the next video. Uh, that's it for this video, I suppose. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you weren't too frustrated by me looking at a guide again. Uh, I was kind of frustrated, so, you know. Okay, my power went away when I left the level. That's what I thought would happen. That's sad. It would be kind of cool if that was a permanent upgrade and you could just take it anywhere in the game and you just always have super flames that kill everything. It would be overpowered, but it would be cool.
Anyway, uh, Dreamweaver's hub is done. Each of the levels in Dreamweaver's is now 100% done, except for the flight level, which is, I think, 60%? Maybe 70%? I don't know, I didn't do the only one, but I did all the others, so... <sighs> Have a quick look. 80%. Cool. Alright, so, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Next time, we're gonna go to Nork Nexus. The game calls it Nasty's World or something, but... It's Nork Nexus. It's a much better name. I don't know why they renamed it. Thanks for watching. I hope you.